Altium Designer includes multiple object types, and many of these will appear in a complex project. Typical objects in a PCB project are, for example, conductors, vias, pads, and components. Objects have different sets of parameters, are located on different layers, and are connected to different nets. Queries are used to access a variety of objects in Altium Designer. Suppose we need to select all vias that carry signals on differential pairs. The selection algorithm could be as follows. Switch to the PCB panel. Select and mask all differential pairs. Use a filter to select only the vias. And finally, select the vias. Let's do the same thing using queries. First, let's go to the PCB filter panel. At the bottom of the panel is a window where you can enter a query. If we need to select vias on differential nets, the request will look like this. Is via and in any differential pair? Execute the query by simply pressing enter, and we will get the same result, but with much less time spent. This is just one example showing how queries can be used to execute very specific commands on desired objects in an Altium Designer project. Queries help you stay productive as they help you automate processes that might normally involve multiple mouse clicks with different tools inside the PCB editor. If necessary, queries can be used to define the scope of a design rule in the online DRC engine. You can do this in the PCB Rules and Constraints Editor with a custom query. Custom queries act like logical conditions that select specific objects, and the online DRC engine will apply the rule only to the queried objects. This is done in the special window when configuring a design rule. How long will it take you to find all conductors that are less than 4 mils wide? A quick query will complete this task in seconds. Knowing and using the query engine will help you increase the level of control over your project, and using queries when forming rules gives you greater control over the DRC engine in your PCB layout.